Hello guys, this is Tathagat here. Today I will teach you how to flash TWRP recovery, how to root our Redmi Note 3 and how to flash exposed modules and Viper Phone Android. To do this, you have to first have one software called Minimal ADB and Fastboot which is available in internet. I will give you the link. Download it and install it. After installing, you will find some already some files ADB, Fastboot, MF32 but I have added some more files like beta super su 2.74 which will be required for flashing the root file that is root file and one more is twrp coffee this file is used to flash the recovery because official is not supported official is supported but actually we have to flash boot dot image every time we flash MIUI up so it will be heck so why need so we need a twrp coffee Coffee is a developer who has managed to patch the boot automatically whenever you flash the MIUI ROM. So, with this three file, let's get started to do the work. So, here is my phone. So, we need to connect the USB device to it to enable the flash. Now, we need to go to the settings for enabling the developer options and OEM unlock mode and USB debugging mode to do that just tap the build number seven times and you will open the developer settings then go to developer settings and open this enable OEM unlock after that you need to also enable USB debugging if it's not enabled you need to recheck it after as soon as you recheck it you will find one command like allow USB debugging you need to accept it after that, let's go to the minimal ADB and fastboot folder. Open shift and uh, press right click. You will find an open new command prompt here. So this is the command line interface of the ADB fastboot mode. So actually, one thing I have given the link for both 64-bit and 32-bit. You can install better. You install it on Windows 10 or Windows 8. Don't try it for Windows XP and all. I have not tried it's for your safety only and re remember guys you need to flash the coface twrp i'm telling it from many times you need to flash the coface twrp without it it can't happen because official twrp is not meant for our device because it's not correct like you have to flash miui boot patch every time now make sure that the usb is connected i'm just rechecking it was I don't want to heartbeat my device now we will again go to the fastboot minimal ADB and fastboot software and what we'll do is we'll just type some commands first we need to type some ADB commands because it's not in fastboot mode so we'll type some ADB commands Android device bridge so let's go to the minimal ADB and fastboot and we'll type there ADB devices and we'll press enter as you can see devices there and some code word A B C D F G H some code word will be there for your device it will be different now we'll boot into bootloader mode ADB reboot bootloader just press enter and nothing will be returned and the phone will be rebooted into bootloader mode see this green color android will come this is called fast boot mode now don't open the usb cable what i will do is uh, this fast boot mode you can flash twrp from here so now no need to type adb commands adb command is over now we need to type fast boot commands because the mo phone is in fast boot mode so we'll type the commands fast boot devices to check the device it's working or not so we'll start by typing fast boot then we have to put space and we'll put devices see the same device first one is ABCDFGH device and second one is ABCDFGH fast boot so the work device is working properly now 
what we'll do is we'll flash the twrp image file so let's check the spelling correctly as i have written it it will be downloaded in twrp.image so i have renamed it to twrp underscore coface so that you can understand better so you need to type fast boot space then we'll type flash then we'll type recovery fast boot flash recovery the same name twrp underscore coface dot img don't forget to write img because see target 38 mb it's writing the recovery and it's finished now the most important part guys do not reboot the phone from here if you reboot it will become the boot loop or if it starts it will again shut down it will again reboot the phone after like one two minutes to solve this issue don't reboot the phone guys do exactly what i am doing what we'll do we'll open the usb cable the phone is still under fast boot mode no need to press anything i will show you the command what will happen if you press fast boot reboot recovery it's not working in mine it didn't work for many people so that's why i'm re recommending you this see fast boot reboot recovery i pressed it showed the help command so the command is not working in this case but it worked in my previous phone motorola and all it worked so i don't know why it's not working still what i'll do is i will remove the usb cable now we need to press volume up remember guys volume up button and uh, the this volume up and power button we need to press it together do exactly as i am doing because i have this case so it's a huge problem for me see i have holded it hold it until the mi logo will come do not release it yeah mi logo has come release it like after see team win recovery you have successfully flashed the recovery now if it comes in chinese don't worry just go to settings and simply go to that fourth fifth bar and just select english over first time it came chinese so do exactly what i do now it came in english so then you have to flash now you have to reboot press reboot and then system after you press reboot and system it will show the mi logo again don't be scared guys it will take around 2 minutes it took 2 minutes for me i will fast forward and so guys it's booted successfully so guys here is the how to flash twrp next part i will show you how to in root the phone the main part of the video so guys i will start with the routing process so before that just see whether the usb cable is connected yeah we have usb cable connected and one more thing is that you should copy the super su file which i have showed in the twrp folder that minimal adb folder into your internal storage i have only internal memory so i will copy it in the internal storage now the main part you need to go to minimal adb and fast boot while the usb is connected and you have to type some commands you have to type adb command which is adb then space then devices to check the device if it's working or not you should do it because after writing that command and all if it does not boot it will be a heck so the next command is fast boot sorry 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 adb and then recover reboot then recovery so after that you do this adb reboot recovery it will boot into the fast directly recovery mode directly it will boot into the recovery mode this time not the fast boot mode see 
yeah am i loco and again this team win 3.0.0 this is coface remember guys this is coface twrp now what you need to do is you need to go to install at the left top corner and you need to scroll down if you have selected in micro sd card the, you have put at beta super soon micro sd card you need to select storage and select micro sd card and select that beta super soon and you can see and you can just you can just swipe it in the file you can see super su 2.74 don't click the signature verification just swipe it just swipe it and after swiping you will you will see it successfully flashed i will not do it because i have already flashed it i will just reboot it just do reboot system and after this reboot system my logo will appear and the phone will boot in like same one minute don't panic guys it will boot 100% after that you will find super su i have grouped in the folder you will find it outside so guys this is super su free i don't know the pro version you can download the pro version also so you need to check some settings enable super su is always enable and default access i have granted because i don't want to grant every time and you need to show notifications so that you can see the notifications also the mount namespace separation please disable it if you want to backup and all it will create problems busy box and all so please disable it now one more is this theme you can set the theme i have set it to default dark you can set it to default light that's not an issue just select again whatever theme you like i i like the black theme because i i like the main thing of this okay guys so this is what is called the see i have configured lot of apps here greenify greenify and all i will i'll show all these things so this is guys the super is installed and if you want to check the root is successfully installed or not so just go to root root checker in the play store check the second option jeremy apps it shows in nice way i'll show you just download it see it showed rooted you have granted the permission always so it will not ask for permission if you have selected prompt it will ask you and this is the busy box 1.11 mb miui has its own busy box so you don't need to install any other busy box now let's move to the exposed framework modules what is exposed framework modules it will help you to gain some other rom capabilities without changing your rom i will show you guys remember one thing whatever the file i will give please download that only don't download exposed don't download without miui exposed because it will lead into boot loop and it will break your device so just download this exposed version 83 sdk 22 for 5.1.1 patched by some user yeah soma virus 2016 428 you should flash that i i won't show it again you have to just flash go to recovery flash like how you flash the super su just flash like that and then after flashing you just install that apk exposed installer after you do the apk you will find the exposed installer like that some broken mobile symbol jigsaw puzzle open so this is guys exposed in installer framework now go to framework and see if it's working or not see you can see it is green exposed framework version 83 miui is active so no need to change anything now go to download and suppose you want to download a any framework like suppose i'll show you suppose that miui extended reboot i will tell you what it is first see click it and then it will show you the description what it does i will show you what it does now just swipe you have to swipe it adding three way reboot 
to a my UI. I will show you what it is. Just swipe it and you will go to download. Just download it. It's stable. Stable. Please download the stable version and just download it and then you need to enable it to enable it, you need to go to framework you go to frame frame modules modules you, should, you need to go to modules and you'll see MIUI extended reboot there you need to check it and you need to reboot without reboot it can't happen now I'll show you what does this see I'll hold the power button so you can see new six six airplane recovery fast boot this three options you have got so what it does is you have installed only merely 500 KB file and you have got these large things see it has been implemented in other ROMs you can implement in this ROM that's the main purpose of exposed framework there are lots of exposed framework like kernel auditor add away what add away will do is it will remove the ad from the websites best ad blocker one more is min min guard what it is min min guard means it will block the apps in the app like mx player you can see there is no ads i have my wifi on still there is no ads it will remove in app ads now so guys this is what we call exposed framework now one more we have is amplify battery extender what it will do is it will remove the wake locks if you want more features about wake locks, you can go to YouTube and search for wake locks. This is called iFont, best font in the world. See, uh, we can install any font in this. Just go to download and install any font you want. I like the font that is a year without rain. I already have that. See, I will go to my download. See, a year without rain. So this is this kind of image. It will come. See. I'll, I'll show the thumb see current English replaced English a quick brown fox jumps without a lazy dog okay guys so this was about the exposed frameworks now we'll go to Viper for Android the best sound mod in the world guys whatever headphones you have this Viper will add like a god mode now you know to flash this Viper Audio 4.7.1 stock. I will give you the link. Flash it again in the TWRP and reboot. Same way as you flashed Super So. I'll, I can't boot ev again and again to show you this. So just boot into TWRP, reboot. And flash it and reboot. Over. Now you will get this Viper for Android FX. This is called Viper for Android FX. To know more about Viper for Android, you can go to YouTube and search. I'll, I'll soon upload one more video that will contain only this wiper for android f it's it's great bro you can't understand it without without experience you can't understand so thank you guys for watching please like share and comment and subscribe thank you